Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing what GTA 6 is going to look like and all of the graphical improvements that we can expect over GTA 5. Now the game you're seeing on the screen right now is not GTA 6, but it is the closest thing that we can experience right now to what GTA 6 is going to look like, and that is exactly what we're going to be discussing in today's video. But before we get into that, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to share your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shout out of the day, and right after that went to the actual video. So today's shout out of the day goes to a really awesome book known as The Treasure Map Checklist. Now The Treasure Map Checklist is a book all about shifting your mindset to be a better and improved version of yourself, with specialized knowledge and nearly everything that can be valuable clues to achieve a great fortune as quickly as possible. What I like about this book especially is that it takes your normal motivation book that is usually dull and not interesting to read and turns it on its head and makes it fun and entertaining to read while providing some really useful information. The Treasure Map Checklist is available on Amazon in a Kindle ebook version as well as a paperback version. And best of all, it is available completely for free right here on YouTube via an audiobook on the author's channel. Click the first link in the description down below to start listening to the audiobook for the Treasure Map Checklist today. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So the gameplay you're seeing on screen right now is actually from a game that was released about a week ago known as The Matrix Awakens, and this is a free game that is actually an experience showcasing the potential using Unreal Engine 5 and pretty much all of the technology that has been developed over the past couple of years to make gameplay and games in general look as hyper-realistic as possible. Now this demo experience is super important because it shows us what the future of video games is going to look like and what the possibilities are for GTA 6. When GTA 5 came out back on the PS3 and Xbox 360, it really set new records when it came to gameplay and overall graphics quality and fidelity, and GTA 6 is likely going to set a new standard when it launches. Now this demo is running on Unreal Engine 5, which is a game engine that Epic Games develops. And a lot of other games use Unreal Engine because it is almost free to start using, you only pay when you publish the game, and it is overall a very powerful graphics engine. On the other hand, Rockstar and other AAA companies use their own game engines that they develop in-house and they manage vertically. In the case of Rockstar, they have their own game engine called Rage, which stands for Rockstar Advanced Game Engine, and allegedly Rockstar has been upgrading Rage over the past couple of years, and especially recently, to support some of the amazing things that you can see in the gameplay right now. Everything ranging from extremely high fidelity textures, to massive draw distances taking full advantage of the next generation console power, to ray tracing which makes the lighting look super realistic, and also reflections and everything in between, all of these are going to be elements that will be included in the world of GTA 6, and we can expect it to look even more realistic than this gameplay demo. It's pretty crazy to think that GTA 5 came out all the way back in 2013, and while the game did receive a few minor enhancements over the years, it still looks like a modern game that came out in 2021, even going into 2022. Now there are a couple of things that this demo does not showcase, including physics, as well as weather and rain, so Rockstar will be allegedly including an advanced weather system in GTA 6, where puddles can form, physics will change when the ground is wet, and overall a more realistic experience when it comes to wind, rain, and even other types of weather that may occur in the game, such as hurricanes. So while this demo does give us a good idea of what GTA 6 is going to look like and what the open world gameplay is going to be like, there is still a number of areas where Rockstar needs to innovate on to make it even more realistic and at a bigger scale than this demo is showcasing. 
Now it's worth noting that this demo known as The Matrix Awakens is available completely for free for everyone on the PlayStation 5 as well as the Xbox Series S and X. So if you have a console of the next generation, make sure to get it. Again, it is completely for free. It takes about 20 minutes to play through. And then after those 20 minutes, you get access to the open world and you can drive around, walk around, see the world and pretty much get a little glimpse of what the world in GTA 6 is going to look like when it does finally release. So I will make sure to leave a link in the description down below to the store pages for The Matrix Awakens so you can check it out and download it today on your console if you do have one. And also side note, for anyone playing on PC, this demo is unfortunately not available for PC at the moment for whatever reason. So as I kind of mentioned earlier, my personal recommendation is to install a number of graphics mods for GTA 5 to try to simulate what the next generation of the GTA series is going to look like. But let me know in those comments down below, what are some graphic improvements for GTA 6 that you're looking forward to that are not in GTA 5? My personal thing I'm looking forward to is certainly more enterable building interiors. With GTA 5, we have a handful throughout the map, but allegedly GTA 6 is going to include a lot more. And when you have more building interiors that you can enter and exit without a loading screen, I feel like it makes the entire game a lot more realistic to play. And that, if I had to pick one, is probably the utmost important thing that I'm looking forward to in GTA 6, and I really hope it happens. Rockstar initially had plans to introduce Introduce this in GTA 5, however they shortly thereafter realized that it is simply too big of a task, especially for the PS3 and Xbox 360 at the time, but with the PS5 and Xbox Series S and X, as well as the new graphics cards on PC, I am confident that this is possible, especially with the super fast SSDs that are in these next generation consoles. But let me know in those comments down below what you're looking forward to most, because I really want to hear from you guys. But either way, if you enjoyed today's video and you like staying updated on the latest GTA 5 and GTA series news, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video, as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with those notifications on it so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.